Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to today's presentation and today's, well, today's webinar about the PNG licensure in Ontario. So my name is Mohsen Khalaf. I am a PhD holder in the License and Professional Engineer and I am a senior member in the ITEE. So our agenda today actually uh, includes four items. Uh, before we go into our agenda, I'll just give a little bit of belief of what we're going to uh, discuss today. Uh, actually becoming a licensed engineer not only validates your skills, but also opens up leadership opportunities and enhances your career prospects. So today we're going to talk about the PNG licensure process in Ontario. This is a critical milestone for engineering graduates. I will also share how PNG Academy can support you throughout this journey. The process involves several steps, starting with academic qualifications, completing the required work experience, and passing the technical exams. So today I will walk you through the steps of obtaining this prestigious designation, address some common challenges candidates face, and explain how PNG Academy is here to help you succeed. Uh, I'll start first by introducing myself. Uh, I am the co-founder of PNG Academy with my friends Muhammad Hamouda and Abdurrahman Ayyad. The three of us are PhD holders from Canadian universities, and we have extensive experience in both industry and teaching and academia. I graduated from Asyut University in Egypt in 2012. I was the top of my class. And then I was hired at the same department as a teaching and research assistant between 20, 2012 and 2016. I got my master's of uh, science in engineering, in electrical engineering from the same department in 2015. After that, I started my PhD journey at the University of Waterloo in Ontario, and I worked there for uh, 20, for, for four years, between 2016 and 2020 as a teaching and research assistant, and I got my PhD in 2020. Next, I worked as a, as a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Toronto between 2021 and 2022. My work in the PhD focused on the cyber physical security of power systems. And uh, at, at the University of Toronto, I worked in a project in, in collaboration with Hydro Quebec to, uh, to investigate the cyber security aspects of their grid and to try to come up with uh, solutions for these threats. Uh, I also worked as a part time lecturer and lab instructor at the University of Waterloo and Conestoga College between 2021 and 2023. I received my PNG license in 2023. And right now I'm working as a, as a power system engineer at the independent electricity system operator of Ontario. So this is a little bit about uh, myself. Uh, let me start by now by introducing you to uh, PNG Academy. So our mission is simple. We aim to support engineering graduates in Ontario and across Canada in achieving their professional engineer designation. The process of becoming a PNG can feel overwhelming with its technical exams, competency assessments, and application requirements. That's where we come in at PNG Academy. So at, e at PNG Academy, we break down these complex steps into manageable milestones, providing the tools, resources, and guidance you need uh, to succeed. We are proud to offer tailored courses in core engineering disciplines, practical workshops, and one-on-one -on -one mentorship to ensure that every candidate is fully prepared. Whether you are just starting the licensure process or tackling a specific challenge, PNG Academy is here to help you reach your goals and elevate your career. Whether you are preparing for technical exams, drafting your experience record, or needing clarity on the licensing process, 
we are here to ensure you are equipped uh, to succeed. And uh, I have here our Facebook and LinkedIn links so you can uh, follow us and reach out to us at any time. In Ontario, the PNG designation is a mark of professional excellence, credibility, and trust. It opens doors to engineering goals, increases earning potential, and is often legal requirement for engineers signing off on projects. In this webinar, we are going to go through the PNG requirements in Ontario, the PNG path, and how can PNG Academy help you. Let's start with an overview of the steps to become a professional engineer in Ontario. Number one, the education or the academic requirements. You need a degree in engineering from an accredited program. Number two, the professional practice exam or the NPPE. This is a key requirement testing your, testing your understanding of ethics, law, and professional practice. Number three is a work experience. You must complete four years of work experience under the supervision of a licensed engineer. And number four, the technical exams. These may be required depending on your academic background. Finally, here number five, the competency assessment. You will actually need to demonstrate your skills and experience through detailed competencies and submit an application. Each step has its own challenges, but with proper guidance and preparation, they are completely manageable. PNG Academy is here to ensure you are confident and well prepared for every step of the way. So let's start these steps one by one. One of the first steps to becoming a professional engineer in Ontario is meeting the education requirements set by professional engineers on tally. Let me break it down for you. If you hold a bachelor's degree in engineering from a program accredited by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board, the, or the CEAB, you meet PEO's academic requirements automatically. This makes the process smoother for Canadian graduates. If your degree is from a program on PEO's recognized programs list, you will may you may still meet the academic requirements, but you might need to complete a set of technical exams to fill any gaps compared to CEAB accredited standards. For graduates with engineering degrees from outside Canada and the USA, PEO requires a course by course report from the Warned Education Services or WES. This evaluation determines how your education aligns with CAAB standards and identifies whether any technical exams are required. If there are gaps between your academic background and the CA CAAB standard, PEO will assign you technical exams to address those gaps. Successfully completing these exams will fulfill the academic requirements. Finally, for individuals without a bachelor's degree in engineering, PEO offers a limited license option. This allows you to practice professional engineering within a clearly defined scope. It is a great pathway for those uh, with related qualifications or extensive experience in specific, in specific uh, fields of engineering. At PNG Academy, we understand that meeting these academic requirements can be challenging, especially for international graduates or those assigned technical exams. That's why we offer targeted support from exam preparation to guidance on the WIS evaluation process, ensuring you, uh, you are set up for success. Let's talk about technical exams, which are an essential step for many applicants pursuing their PNG designation in Italy. If your undergraduate degree is not accredited by the CEAB, you may be required to complete a technical exam program. These exams ensure that your academic qualifications align with the standards set by professional engineers on TAVI. Here is how the technical examination program is structured. So you take four exams in total, two exams from group A, 
this, uh, this the group A covers core engineering topics within a specific discipline. One from group B, this is more speci specialized and allows some flexibility to align with your area of expertise. And one complementary studies or CS exam, this focuses on non-technical areas like ethics uh, or law, which are also critical for professional uh, practice. The pass mark for all PEO exams is 50%, which is achievable with the right preparation and focus. Now, I know these exams can feel intimidating, especially for international graduates or those who have been out of school for a while. That's where a PNG Academy steps in. We offer comprehensive preparation courses tailored to the PEO exam format. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and confidence you need to succeed on your first attempt. At the end of the day, these exams are an opportunity to deepen your expertise and demonstrate, demonstrate your readiness to join Ontario's professional engineering community. Uh, next, I'll talk about the MPPE exam or the, Net, the, the National Professional Practice Examination, MPPE. This is a critical step in the licensing process. It's a, it's a two and a half hours exam closed book online exam that tests your knowledge of ethics, professional practice, engineering law, and professional liability. Essential areas for, these are all essential areas for practicing as a PNG in Ontario. You typically have up to three attempts to pass the exam. However, it's important to meet the timeline set by the PEO as the NPPE must be completed within the time frame specified to keep you, your application on track. PEO will inform you of the deadline for your exam. Uh, completing the MPPE pro promotely uh, ensures your application can be processed within 180 days, including time for exam evaluation. Lastly, uh, you are eligible to take the MPPE once PEO confirms your application is complete. So make sure all your documents are in order. The next item in our list here is the experience. An important update in the PNG license process is that PEO no longer requires Canadian specific experience. This is great news for international applicants. However, all applicants must still fulfill the 48 months of acceptable and verifiable professional engineering experience. This experience demonstrates your ability to practice engineering at a professional level. To assess this, the PEO uses competency-based assessment or what's called the CBA model. The CBA evaluates your engineering competences across key categories essential for effective practice and public safety. This shift to a standardized model ensures that everyone, whether trained in Canada or internationally, is assessed fairly based on their skills, knowledge, and readiness for the license. Becoming a PNG is an exciting but challenging journey and many applicants face challenges along the way. Here are some uh, of the most challenge, the common challenges. The first one here, the license process can feel overwhelming due to its multiple requirements and steps. Knowing where to start and staying on track is very important. The second challenge here is developing a structured study plan and allocating sufficient time to each topic is an important key. Practicing with pre previous exams is essential to familiarize yourself with the format and the question styles. Next here, the time management. Time management actually can be a struggle, especially for those working full time while preparing for exams or meeting other requirements. Next, having a mentor can provide invaluable support and advice, but finding one who understands the process and your specific needs can be difficult. The next challenge here is meeting the experience requirement, especially 
uh, in specialized fields or industries, this can take time and effort. Documenting your experience in the CPA format requires careful thought and understanding of PEO's expectations. The ethics and law focused MPPE exam is another important milestone that demands effective preparation to pass within the allowed time frame. These challenges highlight the need for a structured approach, reliable resource, and the tight support system to succeed in the uh, licensure process. One more challenge is to stay up to date with the new programs that PEO offers. For example, this week, actually PEO sheds the light on an important uh, update here that the EIT program might be back in Ontario and more updates about this will be posted uh, on, on the PEO's website and their uh, social media uh, accounts on April of 2025. You can also follow us on LinkedIn or Facebook to uh, keep updated with these updates. So now the question is, why to choose PNG Academy? So at PNG Academy, we have designed our services to address these exact challenges. This is a highlight of our services here. So we provide comprehensive technical exam preparation courses in four core subjects, and we are preparing more courses on the way. Our courses are designed and taught by experienced PNG holders who understand the process firsthand and PhD holders who have proven teaching experience. Our expert mentors are available to guide you through every step of your preparation, offering personalized advice and assistance. We also host regular uh, workshops and webinars. Actually, this is, uh, this is a plan for the future, and this is actually our first uh, webinar, but we're planning to host regular work workshops and webinars focused on critical topics to deepen your understanding and reinforce uh, key concepts. So from navigating the application process to guiding you through the competency-based assessment or the CPA experience report, we ensure you are supported every step of the way. Choosing PNG Academy means having the right tools, guidance, and support to achieve your goal of uh, licensure. Uh, we offer preparation, as I mentioned, we offer preparation in four core uh, subjects here, the engineering economics in category uh, CS, the electronic electric circuits, uh, elec A1, and power systems and machines, elec A6, these two courses are in category A, and power systems engineering, elec P7, this is in category B. So those are four, four core subjects that uh, international uh, applicants might might need. And we are also preparing more courses. We will uh, publish and post about them very soon. This is the end of my presentation. Now uh, I'll open the floor for questions.